area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. But they tell you be safe when you out in these streets Rest in peace, King Nip, stay dangerous Good motherfuckers play for keys Keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster Better keep you a toaster Keep you a toaster With all that cow But what we not gonna do And what we not gonna act like is that Calico 30 Hitman. And what we not going to do, and we not going to act like Hitman 30 Calico. You may be preferring Hitman over Calico, or you may be preferring Calico over Hitman. There's the fucking beers went off the showroom floor. And now they got me battling a nigga that I used to have to wake up off a of showroom floor. But you hurt, Slime? Did I catch you at your worst slime? Hey, Big Drew! Yes, no, don't get quiet now. You should have shut the fuck up the first time. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram. Butterfly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single person that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy Showtime SP, etc., etc. Don't let that get too far ahead. So you got Calico versus Hitman Holla. You know, we go live, and then afterwards, you know, we do a recap of the battle. Myself, my guy Showtime SP, he definitely has his thoughts and revelations about how he felt about it. Max Out 3, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment and the event that they were able to put on. Uh, you know, there were some dope battles on there. There were some other battles on there. There were some body bags on there. You got a little bit of everything. A little bit of all the seasoning for the reason in the mama cooking. Stop your looking. So, um... Hitman vs. Calico, well, I will say this. Uh, there are a lot of people who feel both ways about this battle. I've seen a lot of people say Calico won. I've seen a lot of people say Hitman won. When I see something like that, overall, it is debatable. Oh, you like the debatables, Mr. Wavy Voice. Um, this battle has a lot of replay value. Um, it was for... The Midwest crown, you know, people was talking about the king of the Midwest, who's going to be the leader of the Midwest, who's the who's running, who's moving the movement. I be moving the movement, move from unit to unit. Um, I do have some notes. I will go over my notes again. Um, Showtime SP is definitely in here. He has his thoughts about the battle. Uh, I will tell you how I felt. I did watch the battle twice, and I kind of feel the same way. Super, super, super good look for both MCs. Both of them did they think. I will say that. You know what I'm saying? Both will did they think. And it's one of them things where if you're a fan of Calico, you can pick Calico and say Calico won this battle and say it confidently. If you're a fan of Hitman, you can pick Hitman and be confident in your opinion about who you felt won. So Calico comes out and he starts directly jabbing at Hitman, going at him. I'm on you, nigga. I love the way he started talking about this, that, and the third with Hitman going at, whether it was his career, his moves, anything that was going on. He said, I'm on you, nigga, because it seemed like he did his homework. See, the thing is, that backup don't look the same when it's in front of you, nigga, and I loved what he did. He said, my gun looked like some shit that Tesla would make. Now he in, now he in, now he in Idaho. What's that, a vegetable state? You know what I'm saying? He did the, what's that mean? Now he in Idaho, what that mean, a vegetable state? Your brother's supposed to be your backbone. I'm online supporting complete strangers because they black owned. Like he was talking about how Hitman and his brother had that falling out with the ex-girlfriend or whatever the case may be. And Hitman clown his brother and shit like that. He said your brother was supposed to be your black oh, your backbone. But I'm online supporting complete strangers because they black owned. Let's keep it going. He said you called ARP asking for me all because Cass whooped your ass up the street. That was fire. How you retire for a week? Calico got into a whole segment of how you retire for a week. I did like the flows and the pockets of material that Calico was going into. He was attacking Hitman. He was, yo, let's recap. Kind of fire out the gate. I'm not going to hold you. Let's keep it going. You know, he was, he was attacking him. How you retire for a week? 
you know, he was just like getting at him. Like his balls were very personal and very catered towards Hitman. No, so now Hitman comes out his first round. I really wanted to see what Hitman was going to be able to do after the cast battle, where I felt like in some parts of the cast battle, Hitman was just trying to prove himself as a as having material, but like being able to perform and be the best performer. I wanted more catered material to his opponent and try to break down his his enemy. He said in his first round. My brother slept in the bed. We made pallets on the floor for you. Now I'm like, yo, he's really attacking him with what Hitman's really good at doing, which is being personal and getting at somebody. Mercedes told me 195 thou to take that Benz off the showroom floor. Then I went and got that Benz off the showroom floor. Now I'm battling a nigga that I used to have to wake up off a showroom floor. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He cooking now. He The stove is on. The stove is on. He's cooking. Uh, then he had the remote control scheme. Set trip in remote fashion. Uh, a, a, he said if Big T something and 10 will be on top of TV. No static. I like that. Uh, this is not a quiz or a test. But I can end up in the crowd with it. The quiz or test. A quiz or test. Ron or test. Okay. We got it. We got it. Uh, you want to humble a nigga who's extra? Put the guy with the lead role in front of him. <laughs> I like that part from him, man. I ain't gonna hold you. I put Calico. I put the scope on Calico. Now, Calico inside of Calico. Is that even possible? Y'all niggas is bugging, son. Hitman's first round is wild. Like, this nigga snapping out the gate, son. I put I put the scope on Calico. Now, Calico and the Calico. Is that is that even possible? Is it even possible? Scope on Calico, the Calico, the Y'all niggas tripping, son. Um, fuck fighting. It's bullets first. He named himself the wizard. He should already know that. I like that. I made a million off battle rap. Can't none of you niggas say that. I like that. Hitman's first round was like, he, and then he was at like the four minute mark and he kept going. He started going into the overkill bag. Uh, Calico second round, more real talk. His real talk was super fire in the second. Uh, you punching drunk niggas in the face and you got your son in the field with him. If I come with a team full of shooters, I'm not playing with him. Yo, he was, that was some real shit because he's like, yo, I always thought about that. Like some of the situations that Hitman be getting into, it'd be immensely avoidable. Like that beating up that guy in front of your son, that was kind of avoidable. You know what I'm saying? But he's saying like, you got your son in the field with you. Like, what if he did? And then he was like, what if the guy would have had a gun? He would have shot you. Like, all this other shit. That shit was dope. Um, he said, if the niggas... Yo. He mentioned the shit. I didn't even know it had happened. Calico was kind of like... he. Y'all niggas didn't even realize that he could put a freestyle in the middle of his round when he said, if the niggas jumped me and pulled up to my event, they wouldn't have even walked out this bitch. That was referring to old boy getting jumped across the street at the gas station for jumping Hitman. That was fire, Calico. It was a real life bar and it was in the middle of your round. You get points for that. All that fake pop ruin got him getting robbed for his per diem. Them gang niggas be happy when they see him. Like, he's saying like the gang niggas, they see a nigga that's, that's not from where they from, but claiming they gang and they got money and jewels and ice on, they be happy when they see him. Like, nigga, we extorting you. You're gonna pay for all of this or we robbing you. Um, he said he getting robbed by his security and them gang niggas that put him up, put him down. Calico's second round was fucking crazy. Hitman second round, you rather waste your talent, go to the streets and take chances your pop took to raise you. And, hit, and then Calico, the one thing I did not like about Calico, that talking through the round, my nigga, stop talking through niggas' rounds, B. Like, you bugging with that shit, my nigga. Stop. I know you be watching me fucking recap. Stop talking through niggas' rounds, son. That shit is that shit is mad crunchy, B. Stop talking through niggas' rounds. Um, I could have taught you this. I would have been joining. You would have been pipping. You would have been good with pipping. But now you rather team up with a nigga who do podcasts with a nigga that pistol whipped them. I like that shit. You rather decent? I was Jordan. You would have been good with Pippin. But now you rather team up with a nigga who do podcasts that pistol whipped him. He's talking about Murder Mook. And Murder Mook was in the building. He directed that jab directly to him. I liked it. Your whole family was in the front row screaming, pick up and kill it with the wild and out tickets that I gave you. I should rock your shit. 
like hand-me-downs. Then he started talking about the difference in their careers. Then he jumped in pockets of flows about the reload and peel that, reload and wheel that, reload and yeah. Crazy, 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 crazy. I really, I'm really liking this battle. Calico third round, he real talked him. Uh, how you keep a hand sandwich in line, you toothpick him. So niggas in the Midwest yesterday was telling me in a live that ham is like a Midwest term. So he's saying how you keep a ham sandwich in line, you toothpick him. Now, you know, when you go to go to like the, your, 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 your fucking potlucks and shit like that and work seminars, they have the toothpick so you can keep the ham sandwich in line, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know how to toothpick a person, but y'all got it, right? Uh, First, if I'm a baptized holler, then take his sins away. He said, think Tay Rock girl, the ratchet got a pause. You know, I ain't gonna do all that. Uh, he tried to merge. He went to LA and tried to merge with, you with the gangsters. Bitch, you should have tried to get some burn on the Lakers. Then A Big Gerald, that was fine. You should have shut your ass up the first time. Loved it. Hitman Holler comes out his third round, the boxing state of mind. I got the money like Floyd. I'm like Wilder with the barking. I'm like Holyfield with the baldy. And then he flipped it and said, because I got an ear for this. Like Holy Tyson, I got an ear for this. I like the scheme. Hitman, I like the scheme. Uh, I get the drumming on stage. I make a musical. Then he, told, he, said, he said, I top of the fly at you. Machete for the snake. I show him the other side of you. Then he said, I leave Cal at the bottom of the box like nutrition facts. Um, he was out rapping, like different patterns of flows out rapping. Calico to me out personal him. Hitman out rapped him, which was different. He had a Fab Five scheme. Chris, my name would have rose if I was on the web or not. I ain't even know. That was kind of remind me like when he was battling Bill Collector. The Tommy got the white like the Green Ranger Hitman. I gotta ask. When you start rapping like that? When, when you start rapping like that, my nigga? Uh... Then show out jumps in at the end. What if he tried? What if he tried with you, boy? I ain't Briz, nigga. Um, I love the way Hitman ended his third. I love the way Calico ended his third. The boy I ain't Briz, nigga, and the Calico ends his third round with the uh, a big Gerald. Now you should have shut your ass up the first time. Overall phenomenal battle. Eight or nine out of ten. People got their money's worth, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like what can I say? Both of them niggas did their thing. To me. I personally edged the battle to Hitman 2-1 on one watch, Calico 2-1 on the next watch. To me, it's just my personal opinion and opinionated sport. This shit is a wild debatable. Ooh, you like them debatables. SP, holla! Nope. 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 Y'all not gonna let me do that. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna let myself do that, and I'm not gonna let y'all take me there. I'm not going back. I ain't going back. I was going to jump out the limb and just be like, boom, this nigga won. But I'm not, no, I ain't doing it. I'm not going to do it. I want y'all to decide which way I should go with it. Because I'm going to tell y'all how I really feel, but I'm not going to tell y'all how I, how I really, really feel. I'm going to just keep it. Bloggerish, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be a blogger in this one. What's good, John? It's your boy Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Bow! Hitman vs. Calico. The king of the Midwest was at stake. Who was mad at who? Why you leave the brotherhood? Why you still keeping it hood if you so famous? Are you really hood? You know what I'm saying? Like, this battle was about. Who had more leverage of being angry with each other? And technically, both of them had fair points, okay? This was a grudge match. And I'm going to get this out the way. Is the creaky floors are something y'all going to have to deal with. And that's, that's, that's just a thing that's just going to have to go down. But I, I enjoyed this battle for, for two reasons. One, because this is one of those preference battles. This is one of those battles where... If you a fan of that person, you're gonna side with that person. Like you can't say, or 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 or, or if you or if you or if you don't like this one person, like he's not your cup of tea, then you will not like that person because both both people, both combatants, Hitman and Calico, gave us 
three full rounds. Now, one person's round was longer than the other. It's all right because some people do 20 page essays and they want to get 20. They do 25 pages. Sometimes they do the 25 pages because they trying to kiss ass and get some extra credit. Other people got a lot more stuff to talk about. And therefore, they can't get it in them 20 pages. So if you want to let me rock, let me rock. Teachers let students rock all the time. Only thing you're not going to do is give me 10 pages. And then just scribble all over. That was the metaphor for the writing skill and the writing level of this battle. Because we we saw Daylight vs. Los and we seen that the, the writing level capacity. I mean, the fact that Mickey Fax was there, standing there, watching these two niggas rap. And knowing that the people that he named that was there, like all those guys are like lyrical, miracle niggas. Shout out to y'all, because y'all clearly showed the difference. And in Hitman and Calico, I feel like, by the fall, I was going to recap this and say who he got in preference. But I'm going to be real with you. I agree with Vada. I agree with Vada. I, I got Hitman winning the battle, and I'm going to explain to you kind of why. When we do the bar breakdown, I'll explain it, but it's not really a battle that you have to break down bars because Captico was not doing a lot of bars. He was doing a lot of real talk, right? He was doing a lot of situations where he was giving you uh, uh, he, uh, he was giving you a, a situation uh, like, all right, for example, he says, what is this, Christmas? Like, you know, because he's saying that his, the boys, the, the homies that he with, every time they give him his per diem and it's lit for this, and then he got out of the ice, out neck and wrist, and his homies standing around like, what is this, Christmas? That was, you know what I'm saying? Like, the crowd went crazy for that. People liked it because, I, you know, for the real niggas, yeah, if you out here shining and you out here got your jewels on, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, and, 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 and I'm about to rob you. And then he also had another line, um... Uh, uh, and uh, further down in the battle, he's like, "What y'all about to do? About to go get robbed? By other, about to go get robbed? Um, oh no, about to go get robbed together? You know what I'm saying? So it's like the level of Calico's writing. It was not necessarily where you got to be like reaching the highest pinnacle, right? Um, the thing about Hitman was Hitman was trying to give you more bars and trying to keep it lyrical but the thing about hitman was is that this was a grudge man so a lot of the stuff that hitman had to say to calico was about the relationship that they had between each other the friction that caused between them two you get what i'm saying and yet he still threw some bars in there the bars that were relevant were relevant and the ones that were hidden they was hidden um it's just with uh with hitman holla i didn't expect him to go that route like he was going personal like you know what i'm saying like he wasn't like you know talking to your daughter and stuff like that but at the same time you get to enjoy the fact that hitman holler is constantly trying to reinvent himself meanwhile calico is the kid that's poking at the beehive you get what i'm saying like he's just kind of doing it to do it he's the joker in the dark night he doesn't know what he would do if he caught one of those cars he just do and that's fine cal but what we not going to do and what we not going to act like is that Calico 30 Hitman. And what we not going to do and we not going to act like Hitman 30 Calico. You may be preferring Hitman over Calico or you may be preferring Calico over Hitman. There's nobody that's going to judge you if you say one or the other. There's nobody that's going to shut you down and tell you that you're biased. And there's nobody that's going to sit there and say that you're hating. Leave that to me. I got Hitman Hollow winning that battle the first and the second round. I just honestly think that the things that people was going crazy for on Calico side, it wasn't lyrical. And that's fine because I'm, I'm a dude that's lyrical miracle. But was it real? It wasn't even... Case in point, the rhyming pattern that he said about uh, 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 punching a uh, hitman punching the drunk dude. He said if your dad would have did that, he probably would have took a flick with the nigga. Like it was like the way it was set up was cool, but like I said, it wasn't leading to nothing. It was just saying, man, if that it, it, that's just like saying you playing ball and you missed a shot and the nigga on the sideline like, man, I'd have dunked that shit, nigga. You didn't. You wasn't there. You wasn't me, and I'm not you. So why we do? Maybe I'm just being subjective, but I just got to tell you as far as the writing and as far as the performing and as far as the overall 
preference, yes, I have Hitman Hollow in this battle. Because y'all niggas going to keep playing with me, man. And then you you see what he do to niggas that he apparently he don't like. But I ain't allowed to say nothing about that shit. I'm just going to... Yeah. Streets ain't safe, but they tell you be safe when you out in the streets. Rest in peace, King Nib, stay dangerous, cause motherfuckers play for keys. Keep you a toaster, keep you a toaster, better keep you a toaster, keep you a toaster. With all that internet beefing, how you out here necking? You mean to tell me you just a loud mouth nigga that's reckless? Some of you niggas got death wishes, you do it for likes. Go viral to get killed later on that night. It's shit crazy to find out you wasn't on that hype. For them views, you really just paid with your life. All the real killers I know, they don't be online. And if they is, they just waiting for you to post your lie. I ride around me and Hamela and 